The next topic is data exchange patterns. Often we are in a situation where we are managing hundreds of flow definitions. Best practices advocate the concept of a flow factory, wherein the middleware teams had already identified the most common data exchange patterns or flow patterns based on various parameters such as transfer properties, file types, network protocols, security controls, etc. By defining these exchange patterns, they ensure the middleware is wired compliant to the design, a simple best practice. Digital MFT helps you achieve this in an easier manner by providing flow templates to move data in a simple and a self-servient manner. In this demo, we are gonna see a concept IT portal that manages data exchanges by the business in a typical self-service mode. This ability to develop data exchanges across interfaces with all the steps, including designing, building, deploying, and testing the flows by using the digital MFT framework opens the door to run an efficient, agile, fit-for-purpose MFT grid. In a sense, full life cycle of managing data exchanges. Let's start by creating a simple flow between two different endpoints. By picking the right template from the template factory with various choices such as application to application, human to system, business to business, or any other combinations of source and destinations, enterprises will now be able to expose business-centric APIs to integrate easily with service management systems, portals such as this one, or any other external processes. So let's create a simple flow between two different applications where critical business data is being exchanged. So I'm going to set up a payments flow between an order management system and the general ledger. I'm gonna wear the hat of a business user. As a business user requesting for a data exchange between these two applications, I don't need to understand the networking or where the file is stored to be able to move a file. And this exact expectation is delivered by IT using digital MFT. As an IT manager, I can also incorporate appropriate authorization controls to restrict deployment of the data exchanges by the lines of business. As you see here, the status of this particular request is just saved but not yet deployed. Every aspect of managing these data exchanges can be accomplished via APIs. So moving on, the templates have taken care of building the flow exactly according to the specifications. And now we have a flow defined under central governance. So let's look at central governance. I have the flow defined, it's not yet deployed. I can quickly take a look and I would deploy this particular flow to move on to the next step. Which brings us to the next aspect of managing data exchanges in their life cycle. As soon as we build something, our first thought is to quickly check the validity, that is testing. As part of advocating for best practices, digital MFT truly takes care of managing data exchanges for the whole life cycle. Let's test the flow that we have just developed. So heading back to the concept portal, I navigate to testing the flow. So provide the flow definition or the flow name and a test file. And as soon as I hit submit, which is an API call, I get an acknowledgement that that particular transfer has succeeded. I can use this information to verify and validate on the analytics platform as well. Digital MFT allows you to manage the full life cycle of data exchanges. By providing flow template factories or data exchange templates, we were able to build data exchanges quite simple. We were able to deploy those as well. And last, by no means least, to facilitate automation and regression, we were able to also test the data exchanges that we have just set up. The templatized data exchange patterns definitely promote self-service. 
Digital MFT aims to cater to these best practices in a fault-tolerant manner to avoid unwarranted situations by providing blueprints for your exchange patterns.